Classic Art Readers, Level Four. The Works of Henri Matisse. Copyright 2023. Seed Learning. All rights reserved. Introduction. Henri Matisse was born in a small town in the north of France. Like many early artists, Matisse had many different talents. He could paint, draw, sculpt, and illustrate books. Matisse liked to paint different scenes, including still life and landscape paintings. However, he is most famous for his use of bright, vibrant colors. Matisse's painting style changed at different times in his life. This was particularly true when he was introduced to different artists and their paintings. It also happened when he moved to new locations. Van Gogh was one of the painters who influenced him. Unlike many painters, Matisse only became interested in painting as an adult. He was 21 when he became interested in art. Before that, he planned to be a lawyer. Early life. Henri Matisse was born on December 31, 1869, in a small town, Le Cateau Cambrésis, in the north of France. Later in his life. He would gift many of his paintings to his hometown. His family had a grain business and was quite wealthy. However, Matisse was not interested in the family business. In 1887, Matisse moved to Paris to study law. However, when he was 20, he became sick and needed time off to get better. His mother bought him some art materials. From the moment he started using them, he knew he wanted to be an artist. In 1888, Matisse passed his law exams. He started working as a law clerk. At this time, Matisse was also taking painting classes. He liked them so much that he decided to become an artist. His father was very unhappy about this. However, his mother encouraged him to paint. She also encouraged him to paint in new ways. In 1891, Matisse studied painting at the Julian Academy. He also studied at the École Nationale des Beaux Arts. There, Matisse had to copy the works of master painters. Matisse also started to learn about more modern painters, such as Cezanne and Van Gogh. He even bought a painting by Cezanne called Three Bathers. Matisse was influenced by many different types of painters. These included painters of classic paintings, modern paintings, and even Japanese paintings. Paintings and life. In 1898, when Matisse was 28, he married Amélie Noëlle Parayer. They had two sons together, Jean and Pierre, born in 1899 and 1900. Matisse also had a daughter, Marguerite, from a past relationship. He raised her with Amélie. From 1899, Matisse began buying and studying the paintings of other artists. He went into debt because he bought too many paintings. His house was full of paintings by many famous artists, including Rodin and Gauguin. He even had a drawing by Van Gogh. 
Also in 1899, Matisse began his first sculpture made from clay. It was a copy of another famous sculpture. He finished it four years later. It was called the Slave, or sometimes the Serf. Matisse would later make many different sculptures. In 1904, Matisse had a breakthrough in his style of painting. After spending time in Saint-Tropez, he began to paint with brighter colors. Two famous paintings from this time include Open Window and Woman with a Hat. After 1905, Matisse's paintings became more popular. He showed many of his artworks at different galleries in Paris, Berlin, and Moscow. This allowed him to earn more money. After changing to more vibrant colors, he painted many of his most famous works in the decade that followed. Then, in 1917, he moved to Nice on the French Riviera. At first, he stayed in a simple room. Through his window, he could see a beautiful scene. Of course, he painted this view. In the end, he decided to stay in Nice for much of his life. Matisse liked to use vivid colors. However, he was also traditional in many ways. He painted simple landscapes, images of his friends and family, or things in his art studio. However, sometimes he surprised art critics and fans. He tried different shapes and styles in his paintings. One example of this is Cubism. We can see the influence of this style in his painting Piano Lesson. Later Life in his later life, Matisse was often asked to do projects. He even drew illustrations for books. In the 1930s, Matisse worked on a large project called The Dance. A collector, Albert C. Barnes, asked Matisse to do this. At this time, the artist started making art by cutting pieces of paper first. In 1941, Matisse needed surgery for an illness. However, there were complications after the surgery, and he had many problems with his health. After this, he spent much of his time in bed or in a wheelchair. From this time on, much of his work was done sitting in his wheelchair. Because of the problems with his health, it became too difficult for Matisse to paint. Instead, he started to make art by cutting colorful pieces of paper with scissors. These works are called cutouts. Some of these were very large. This art was different from his paintings, and it was also quite experimental. He was trying new things. He wrote a book about his life called Jazz. The book included his ideas about art and life, and it had many cut-out illustrations. Matisse died on November 3, 1954. He is remembered for many things. In particular, he is remembered for his use of color, his cut-outs, and how he influenced other painters. <laughs>